Welcome to Step Up for Students. Today, we will discuss the process for enrolling students in Emma for Schools. During this presentation, we will walk you through the eight-step enrollment process. A school must obtain verification from Step Up for Students. Please be aware that this verification requires approval from the Department of Education for the 25-26 academic year prior to student's enrollment in Emma. Additionally, the enrollment process is considered complete when the guardian either accepts or declines the school's enrollment offer. School year details. Prior to accessing the enrollment reporting tab, schools should thoroughly review and fill out all necessary details found in the school year details section available in the left-hand menu of the dashboard. Your school information will automatically be set to the 24-25 academic year. Please use the drop-down menu to confirm that the listed school year is 2025-2026. School Year Details School Information In this section, please confirm the accuracy of your school information, which has been pre-filled from the Department of Education dashboard. Additionally, include details about the school year, such as the start and end dates, the total number of school days, and the overall capacity. Next, you'll choose the test name and input the test dates for the upcoming school year. Don't forget to save your progress as you complete each section. School Year Details School Information Continued Next, verify the grade levels and your religious affiliation are correct, as these fields are populated automatically from your Department of Education portal. If you find any inconsistencies, please return to your Department of Education dashboard to make the necessary adjustments. Keep in mind that it may take a minimum of 24 hours for these updates to appear in EMMA. By choosing yes, you are affirming that you have read and comprehended the onboarding documents and handbooks provided below. Click the blue next button located in the bottom right hand corner of the page during this process. For FESUA schools, while filling out your tuition and fees, you will need to provide your pre-K tuition and fees if your private school is registered with the Florida Department of Education to accommodate pre-K students. Reminder, eligible private schools have the option to enroll their pre-K students directly in EMMA without needing to utilize the marketplace for collecting pre-K tuition and fees. Important to note, although you can indicate amounts for all pre-K levels, it is advisable to use the highest amount as your maximum. This approach is recommended for clarity. School year details, tuition amounts. In this section, schools are required to specify the tuition fees for each grade level they offer. It is essential for schools to include tuition for all grades served, although enrolling students in every grade level is not mandatory. Click on the button to add as many grade levels as necessary. School year information, fees overview. Schools may include additional fees for various expenses, such as uniforms, books, registration, assessment fees, and more. Please refer to the purchasing guides as indicated on the slide. You can help us review your tuition and fees expeditiously by being mindful of the following. Ineligible tuition and fee names. Please review this slide for the list of ineligible tuition and fee names. This information may also be found in the provider handbook on page 10. School year information, tuition and fee schedules. In the tuition and fee schedule section, you will need to create a tuition and fee schedule for each grade level you offer, as well as specify if it is a maximum schedule. Note, while a maximum schedule can be adjusted after saving, it cannot be altered once a student is enrolled. To remove a maximum schedule, you must submit a ticket. Please reach out to your engagement center for assistance. Utilize the add button to add as many tuition and fee schedules as required. Click save to finish the section later or finish to submit your entries. A pop-up will appear giving you the option to click the gray go back button to edit your entries or the blue button to continue to the enrollment screen. All school year details must be complete before students can be enrolled for the 25-26 school year. Please do not enter and save maximum tuition and fee schedules until you are absolutely certain they are the final amounts for the 2025-2026 school year. You can now navigate back to the Enrollments tab located in the left menu of your dashboard to continue with enrollment reporting. If the status shows as verified, it indicates that Step Up has validated the tuition and fees, allowing the school to move forward with student enrollment. Now remember, schools must be approved by the Department of Education to achieve Step Up for Students verified status. 
alongside a review of eligible tuition and fees. Once the school's compliance and tuition and fees have been thoroughly assessed and approved, the status will be displayed as verified. Once StepUp has confirmed your tuition and fees, your StepUp for Students verification status will show as verified in the enrollment section of your EMMA account. This indicates that you are ready to start the enrollment process. It is imperative that if you receive an email from tuition and fees at stepupforstudents.org, that you please respond to the email that was sent with the required information or documentation. Be aware if you are missing any information that prevents our provider relations department from processing your tuition and fees, it may take a little longer for completion. To find a student, select Find Students option. After making your selection, you will have the opportunity to search for the student using their award ID. If the student status appears as available, you can move forward with adding the student. Schools can upload a list of award IDs, which will automatically populate the student's name below. After this, you can continue to fill out remaining enrollment information. This method removes the necessity for schools to input each award ID individually. Schools have the option to upload a CSV file that includes all award IDs for a bulk import. To assist with this, a template can be obtained by clicking on the Download CSV Template link. After filling out the file and saving it as a CSV document, simply click the Choose File button to finalize the import. Once you upload the CSV file and press the Import button, a pop-up will appear confirming the number of records successfully imported. You can view these records in the Enrollment Request table. If some records do not import correctly, you can click on the provided hyperlink to download a list of failed entries. This will enable you to review any issues with the imports. Once a student has been added to the enrollment list, the school is required to input and confirm their start date and grade level. Additionally, they can select the appropriate tuition and fee schedule for the student and apply any available discounts. After verifying and confirming all the details, the school can easily submit the enrollment request for a single student or for all students simultaneously with just one click. Reminder, any data noted here will be the responsibility of the school to input. Once you upload the CSV file and press the import button, a pop-up will appear confirming the number of records successfully imported. You can view these records in the enrollment request table. If some records do not import correctly, you can click on the provider hyperlink to download a list of the failed entries. This will enable you to review any issues with the imports. Next, choose between enrollment requests and pending responses. Enrollment requests are designed to locate and enroll students, while pending responses pertain to guardians who have yet to respond to their enrollment requests. Review pending student details under pending response tab, including the student award ID, student name, start date, grade level, tuition schedule, and the annual tuition amount. The roster tab. In this section, schools can access a current list of all students enrolled at their institution and examine the enrollment details for each individual student. Reporting tab. The reporting tab enables schools to view a comprehensive list of students, including those currently enrolled, pending, declined, and withdrawn. Additionally, it offers essential details, like the number of days a student has been enrolled. By clicking on a specific student, schools can examine their payment information. On the Reporting tab, you can view all the students imported into your school EMMA account. You can search for students using any field except for dollar amounts and dates. Be sure to select the appropriate school year from the school year drop-down menu. Additionally, you have the option to export all student data using the Export CSV button. Payment Details By clicking on a student's name in the Reporting tab, a pop-up will reveal the student's payment details organized by invoice period which includes the actual amount paid to the school. Still need assistance? Feel free to chat, call, or email us here at Step Up for Students.